Okay, so let's get started on how to list an item on Seller Central. Now, this is one of the fundamental parts of selling on Amazon. For you as a seller, or an arbitrage seller, or any seller, you need to have your products on the Amazon marketplace. And what we're going to do today is quite simply is take a product, a SKU, uh, one that I found that we are going to literally add to our inventory into Amazon. Now, while we haven't got any stock in Amazon inventory, we're going to add that in so that when we ship in our stock, Amazon knows that where to add it and obviously the moment that stock comes in we will see it go live i.e the stock figure will go from zero to one two or three or however many we ship in so today quite a simple video just literally how to add an item to your inventory on amazon seller central but before i begin let me tell you a little bit about myself my name is thomas parkinson and i run the uk based amazon arbitrage lead service fast track fba where we have a team of sources looking for deals seven days a week and what we do is we show you all the deals that we find and then you get to pick and choose those deals which work for your business helping you grow your business quicker and faster and also as well, on top of that, I've been selling on Amazon for three years and I've been doing six figures every single year. And today is very much around sharing my experience, my knowledge and passing that back to other people looking to sell on the Amazon community. But if you've got any questions, do let me know just down below in the comments. But let's start. Right, okay, so we're gonna go through how to add a product onto Amazon Seller Central, obviously into your Amazon account so you can now sell it on Amazon once your stock goes live. So let's get started. Right, so here is a product, a very random product that I've chosen, a water pick uh, WP250 Nano Water Flosser. Now, this product I've just chosen because it's something which we can sell on a new account. And the one thing you're going to find, and I'll show you a little bit later, is there are going to be a lot of products you can't sell. They're called gated. You need to be ungated or unrestricted in that category or that brand. And I'll talk to you a little bit about that later and share some top tips on it. But for you today, what we're going to do is we're going to literally take this product that whether you've been sourcing a lot before or maybe this is the first time you've done some sourcing and you want to check how to list what you want to do now is we want to get these products from either you bought them already or you're about to buy them you want to get them listed onto your Amazon seller central account and let's do that now so straight away I've come into the product and here you can see this product right here what I'm going to do is there are two options I can scroll right down to the bottom here and get the ASIN from that that's not a problem or alternatively, I can come up to the top and just in the browser bar after the DP, it will have the ASIN. And ASIN is always, sorry, ASIN is always 10 digits long and it usually begins with B. So I'm literally just going to copy this. So copy. And then what I'm going to do is come into my Amazon Seller Central account. Now you can see I've already loaded this up, but if I just show you, here is the account we use for testing. You know, I don't make any sales in it at all. But what I'm going to do is come into Add Products and then click add product and then I'm going to come down to here list new product and I'm going to right mouse click and click paste and then I'm going to click search so what I'm doing is just searching for that product in Amazon's catalog and then right now if this is the product yep that's the one I want I've got the right ASIN and I'm going to put this in now so new condition that's what I'm after the make sure we're getting the right condition we don't want to be getting like you know should we say uh, used or refurbished or collectible no no it's got to be new that's what we're looking for everything's got to be exactly spot on 100% so when you're ready click sell yours and what it's going to do is it's going to open up a new window and it's going to tell you a little bit about the product and you can click view the page but we're not too interested in that we know it's the right product so here it asks you some information you've got offer you can go to the advanced view turn it on or off but we're not interested at all and the reason why we're not interested is because this listing which is this this is the listing i.e what the customer sees already exists we're not looking at changing that not looking to do anything we quite simply just want to add our offer so that we can become one of the currently nine sellers but we want to become another seller on this listing so right now it says SKU you can leave that blank and if you leave it blank Amazon is going to tell you or automatically put in a SKU for you you have the option now to put condition in and we want to make sure that's always set to new and then your price you get the option here to match the total price or you can put in your price now my advice is what I always like to do is I like to put in my price a little bit higher than what the current market price is the reason is if the market price goes up 
then what I can do is I'm going to sell it at the higher price. But if I put it in at £49 now, and by the time my stock lands, if it's maybe gone up to 55 well, my stock's landing at 49 and I'm going to be losing out £6 worth of revenue for every sale that I make. So I'm going to put this in, let's say, £65. So, hey, if it lands and everyone's sold out and I'm at 65 and I sell, fantastic, but not a problem. What I will do is when it does land into Amazon's warehouses, I'll bring it back down again. And then quantity. So how many products am I looking to ship? So one, two, three, four. Let's say, for example, I've got three. Now you get here fulfillment options. So you've got, I will ship the items myself. This is whereby you are going to, when you get an order, when you sell this product, this is called merchant fulfilled. So i.e. you are going to ship it from your house or your warehouse personally, not Amazon's warehouses. And this is going to be you physically sending it through, you know, the Royal Mail, the Courier, DPD, UPS, doesn't matter, where that is going to get shipped over to the customer directly from you or you can change it to Amazon will dispatch and provide customer service this is called FBA fulfillment by Amazon and this is the majority of what people do this is where you are going to ship this product from your house or your warehouse to Amazon's warehouses and then they will take care of it from their warehouse once to the customer once the customer orders so it makes life so much easier and this is the general one that everyone does for me and my business I always do FBA I don't have time to worry about doing FBM so here it says you have chosen to fill Amazon orders the your item will be available for sale when Amazon receives it so basically it's saying we're not going to put your three for sale or whatever them until they arrive so at the moment when we click i'm going to sell it it says how many have i got but when it says amazon are going to sell it doesn't ask that question because amazon don't add any to the listing until we actually ship it in so don't worry about that right now we just want to put ourselves on the listing we want to make ourselves available so that this product's on our seller central and right now when we do this it's just going to say zero so that means in a minute we're still not going to show up right here on the listing because we've got nothing to offer so when you're doing you can click remember this setting for next time if you want but I'll leave that unticked it doesn't matter and then when you're ready just click save okay and now we can see that this product has come in and it's now in our inventory so we've got here manage inventory and you can see right now that we've got the product it's come in here and obviously what we can see is Amazon's given us a SKU so they've created a SKU for us and a SKU is a stock keeping unit it doesn't really matter what you put in there it's just something for your reference so it doesn't really matter you can put anything in there but that's something that Amazon's created now you can see it's got the, the name of the product the A underneath and then here we've got available zero that obviously that doesn't matter because we haven't shipped in any yet so we're not expecting we've got our price and then any other prices here so and also you can see here it says active out of stock which is fine because right now we have not shipped in any stock to Amazon's warehouses so the moment we ship in stock to Amazon's warehouses that is going to go live on this section and then obviously the moment that you have stock in Amazon's warehouses that will then go live on the web so let's just have a quick look now at the actual listing to double We'll check that while we we've got the product listed in our inventory we're not actually on the listing so you can click here on the name we'll just load this up so voila we've still got the nine sellers and just double check let's go look at new and if you want to know we are called great quality products great and then here we've got no great quality products great so obviously we're not on that listing that isn't something we're selling at the moment but the moment we go we ship in that stock that is going to be on there now if you're wondering how you get to this page the inventory page you're going to come straight up here once you're in seller central and click on manage inventory and that is just going to get you straight back to this section and you can see all your stock and you can quite easily sort it by active inactive Amazon's you know, merchant or Amazon fulfillment type if you want but for me we'll just leave it as the normal default sections but then what we're going to go through next is very much about creating a shipment and getting this stock from your house your warehouse into Amazon's warehouses and then once it's live getting it sold because that's what we want to do we want to get these product stops but hopefully you found this interesting and if you have and you like this kind of content be sure to give me a big thumbs up 
I really like a thumbs up. I will also say, if you've got any questions, maybe there's something I haven't talked about, maybe there's something that I've gone through too fast or not in enough detail, be sure to drop a comment down below. Really interested in that. And obviously, I will get straight back to you and answer any questions you've got. And then finally, if you are watching this on the YouTube replay, be sure to click the subscribe button because what's going to happen is that you're going to get notified the moment new videos come out that's going to help you in your Amazon business. But for me, Thomas Parkinson at Fast Track FBA, thank you very much.